So I was going to do one of these about science that I almost always do at, at Openfill. Uh, and I was noticing that I'm wearing space pants and a space shirt, and I'm not the only one wearing a space shirt tonight, so maybe I should do the poem that I wrote specifically so I would have an excuse to wear my space suit on stage. Uh, I haven't really practiced it, but it's on the iPod, so I guess I'll do that. Um, this was inspired by something that was said by the tour guide the first time I visited Kennedy Space Center. Um, and it's, it's basically a breakup. It's about a breakup, or it's about a space shuttle launch, or maybe it's a breakup where the person that's breaking up with you is, is uh, leaving in a space shuttle. I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, if you can play the other. Space shuttle lifting off is one of the loudest sounds human kind has ever created. You don't just hear a shuttle launch with your ears, you hear it with your whole body. First you see it, then you hear it, then you feel it. First you see it, then you hear it, then you feel it. First you see it. The shuttle is slipping up into the sky. The subtle disconnection in her eye. The blooming cloud that seems it's painted on. The lustful fire you can't believe is gone. Can you hear it? The solid rocket booster firing noise. The falling out of love that's in her voice. The sound so loud it can destroy its very source. The sound suppression system dissipates the force. Unsound depression wisdom yells it back to her. Resounding hate you too, destroying everything you were. Then you feel it. Explosive blast of air across the water from the pad. She knows you're stuck down there, weighed down with everything you had. Searing the flame trench and the crush of gravity, feeling all the flame for lovers' rush to be set free. You see her thrust toward nothingness as shuttle engines burn. You hear the launch controller saying, negative return. You feel your inner holiness do nothing else but yearn.